Hi guys, my name is Peter, here to do a review on our newly constructed home built by Boutique Homes. Hopefully through this video you'll be able to see and get an idea of the workmanship and quality of a home built by Boutique Homes without all the jazz that you see in display homes. As you know, display homes look absolutely amazing and that's because they've upgraded every single feature of the house. The house that you see behind me is partially upgraded. So as we go through the house, I'll show you what's standard and point out things that have been upgraded so you can get an idea of what your house will look like if you choose to build with boutique homes. The specs on the house. The floor plan that we chose was the Marseille 32. 32 stands for the size of the house, that is 32 square. That's approximately 239 square meters of living space. There's four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a study, two living areas, and a powder room. The garage is 36 square meters. The porch is four square meters, and the alfresco is 16 square meters. Uh, so in total, that's about uh, 296 square meters of house, or 31.9 square. To convert square meters to square, just take the square meters and divide by 9.29. Square meters, take the squares and multiply it by 9.29. Okay, so our feedback on the house. We've been living here for about two months now. Construction happened for about five to six months. I'm a property valuer, so I inspect many properties every day. I've been through the Carlisles, I've been through the Metricons, I've been through the Porter Davises, been through custom built homes, I've been through established homes, and I've been through many newly built homes. So if I was to think about the usability of the house, the functionality, the floor plan, the design, the workmanship, the quality, comparing the house that we've built with the many houses that I've gone through each day, I have to say that boutique homes have done a pretty good job. Uh, the quality is pretty good, uh, the house is pretty solid, um, and if I was to give a rating, uh, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. My wife would also give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, let me take you through the house. Okay, let's start off with the externals. This is the modern facade. Everything that you see here right now is standard. So the bricks, the render, the concrete tiles, uh, the gutters, everything is category one and it's standard. The only thing that's not standard that you see right now is the driveway. Uh, the driveway uh, is an added cost. All right, so here we have the driveway in the garage. Pretty happy with the workmanship here. Uh, the garage looks like it's done pretty well. Uh, it's quite smooth in my opinion. I'm pretty happy with the material of the roller door. Let's get it closer. With the garage, it is remote controlled. You get two controllers. As you can see, you can comfortably fit two cars. We did upgrade our electricity box to be inside the garage instead of outside. And obviously that's um, the solar panel inverters, which obviously doesn't come with the build. That came in after construction. Alright, so before I show you inside, I just wanted to highlight one thing. Uh, just the position of the water tap and the meter. Uh, it's a bit annoying, it's kind of um, in the way of the concrete footpath, if I was to put one there. Uh, it would have been better if it was moved uh, towards the left. Um, but yeah, we'll work something out. Here we have the porch. Let's go inside. And here we have the entry. So the floor is laminate, category one, this comes standard with the house. And we chose 
rustic nougat, there's different colors you, that you can choose. The ceiling height has been upgraded to 2.7 meters throughout the whole house. We also have high doors throughout the whole house. And we also got hydronic heating instead of gas ducted heating, which is normally found in the ceiling. The door lock is an upgrade. The door itself is standard. It's normally uh, that window has been retrofitted with uh, some glazing that my wife did um, so that people from the outside can't see through. Otherwise, if that wasn't there, you could see right through the house. If you want my wife to do that to your door, feel free to email me to get a quote. Yes, this is the entry. What I like about the entry is the width. It's about 1.85 meters. And that you can see right down to the rear of the house. of these doors oh, actually it came like that which is a bit disappointing similar to all the other doors in the house as well everything that you see here is though is standard except for the things that I pointed out so three coats of paint you got your automatic Roller door. That comes with the house. Size of the cornices, skirtings. Size of your architraves on your doors is all standard. The size of the architraves is actually quite wide actually uh, compared to what other builders give you. Just a note. Two months into the house and there's already cracking in the cornices and that's most likely due to foundational movement. And the architraves as well. And even if we fix that, that's probably going to come up again. As long as it doesn't get bigger, I uh, don't really have anything to worry about. Um, whichever builder you go with, you're going to have the same problem with your house. It just depends on the land that you build and how much uh, foundational movement there is. Okay, let's look at the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is about 18 squares of space. There's a few minor upgrades, which I'll point out right now. We've got the carpet, which is category two. The high ceilings, which is 2.7 meters. The hydronic heating, which is an upgrade. We've got the awning windows and the flat screens, which is an upgrade. And you got the high doors. Everything else you see in this bedroom is standard. So it's three coats of paint, 
size of the cornices, architraves, skirtings, the window size is all standard. Coming over to the dressing area, it's about four square of space right here. Which leads into the walk-in robe, which is I think quite a generous space. It's about 7.5 squares of space. Also just an, another note, cracking on the corners, looks like just from foundational movements again. Alright, let's look at the master on suite. So the door is a sliding door and that's an upgrade. Okay, so the master answer is a few upgrades. First of all time, it's a category two Dolomite Ash, 450 by 450 ceramic tile. I thought that porcelain would come out better, but the ceramic has actually turned out really well and is cheaper than the porcelain. The double vanity, there's a few upgrades. Uh, the cabinetry and the handles is standard. The number of cabinets and drawers is standard. The stone bench is an upgrade. What is standard is a 20 millimeter stone. So we've upgraded to 40 millimeters and we've chosen a category three Caesar stone Attica. You can go up to category seven where you get more of the marble look. But we were really happy that with this design and we're really surprised that it was only a category three. It's quite affordable. That flower out there was created by my wife. If you'd like to purchase one, she can make one for you. Just email me. So the two vanities is standard, but we upgrade to larger vanities and a larger mixer. The mirrors is standard and generous in size in my opinion. The size of the shower is standard. The shower screen is semi-frameless and that's standard. Full height wall tiling is obviously an upgrade and we've chosen the 300 by 600 category two Dolomite Ash Ceramic. The grouting uh, is a similar color gray. So what I like about this door is that it opens both ways fully, which is really convenient. And there is also this rubber thing at the bottom, which is very practical, stops water from falling out. Shower base is standard. The exhaust is standard and works really well. It really does stop the fogging of the mirrors. And the niche is an upgrade. Door height, upgrade. Door handle, standard. Tail rail is an upgrade. Toilet standard, toilet roll standard. Floor tiling obviously an upgrade to category two. 
window is standard. The awning window I think is standard, but the fly screen is an upgrade. And the exhaust uh, will form part of your electric electrical consultation. Okay, let's look at the office. So only two things that we've upgraded. The carpet, which is category two. And to the hydronic heating, instead of ducted heating on the ceiling. Everything else here that you see is standard. So the light fittings, aluminium windows, three coats of paint, Skirting and cornices is all standard. The other thing that we did upgrade actually was the awning windows and fly screens. Okay, let's go into the kitchen. Alright, so there are a few upgraded items, uh, but for the most part it is standard. So once again, the floors, standard. Light fitting, standard. The three above the bench is an upgrade. Uh, but the light batons is standard. Alright, let's start off with the stone bench. So what's standard is normally a 40 millimeter stone without the waterfall. So you would just get the top bit here and you won't get this side bit down here. Uh, we upgrade to category three, Caesar Stone Attica. The sink is a double double bowl undermount, which is an upgrade. But what's standard is double bowl. Um, if I was to do this again, I probably wouldn't get a double bowl just because it just doesn't seem practical. The mixer standard. The cabinetry and the handles standard. We did upgrade to get soft closing drawers. And Boutique does give you this tin thing for the cutlery. Dishwasher space. Looking at the back. So the number of pot drawers, cabinets, the colours is all standard. The splashback is also standard. You can choose to have this brick bond design. Uh, this is a white matte or white matte ceramic tiling with, I think it's called midnight colour grouting. 
and that's all standard. The bench top here has been upgraded to 40 millimeter, category three Caesar stone attica. I think what's standard is um, instead of 40 mil, you get 20 mil to half that size. But for your island bench, um, it is 40 mils, 40 millimeters. Sorry, uh, we did upgrade the the width uh, to 1.1 meters. So what's standard is I think one meter. So we just added another 10 centimeters from there to there. But the length of the bench is standard. Uh, we chose not to have uh, handles, which is um, standard, and we didn't get soft closing. That would be an upgrade. Stainless steel appliances brand is Ilve, I L V E, 900 millimeter Italian brand. This is standard. 90 centimeters, sorry, 900 millimeter. Range hood, standard, ELV again. And we upgrade to have a flue kit so that um, your cooking smoke goes all the way out the range hood. And instead of sitting in the attic, it goes outside. We also got LED lights. And that's an upgrade. But the number of drawers that you get, which is standard, is really a good amount. The bulkhead is standard so that you don't have any dust um, on your cabinets, which is really great and practical. The walk-in pantry really is quite spacious. And we did upgrade the, our fresco doors. Um, you, standard, you get one stacker door. So normally on this side right here, I think, is where you have your stacker door. And here, you have a plaster wall with a, a picture window, similar to that one over there. Uh, but we upgrade this our fresco to be corners so that we can open it right up. And we also do have <coughs> fly screens which you see right there. But yeah, I can open this door right up and it really opens up the house. And the flies are coming in. Uh, we did upgrade the windows to have awning windows and fly screens as well. Let's go into the lounge room. Okay, so the lounge room is north facing. <coughs> windows aluminium standard with awnings and fly screen which is an upgrade the carpet category 2 
Okay, so now we're looking down the hallway uh, towards the uh, three bedrooms, second, third, and fourth, the powder room and the laundry, and this will be the western side of the house. Let's go into the fourth bedroom, which is currently being used by my wife as her studio, art studio. So everything that you see right here is standard except for the built-in robe which with the built-in mirrors. Built-in robe is uh, upgraded to the same height as the doors. Got the electrical points which we'll discuss in your electrical consultation. That bench my wife made, she is absolutely amazing. And the space in your meeting room. So this room right here is about 10.5 squares. The next room is about 9.5 squares space Also leads into the open plan kitchen, linen cupboard, powder So what's standard on the bench is 20 mils, 20 millimeter. We've upgraded to 40 millimeter and category three, Caesar Stone Attica. So the vanity is standard, that size, and that mixer is standard. The mirror really is quite large and generous. Toilet, toilet roll, standard. Sliding glazed window standard. My wife created that. If you'd like to purchase that, she can create one for you for your house. And the floor tiling category 2 450 by 450 Dolomite Ash. Let's go into the second bathroom. So, once again, upgrade to full height wall tiling. Wall tiles 300 by 600 Dolomite Ash, category two. Four tiling 450 by 450 Dolomite Ash, category two. Bath uh, vanity standard, mixer standard, cabinetry standard. Stone normally 20 millimeter is standard. And we got upgraded to 40 millimeters and category three, Caesar Stone added cam. Window glazed sliding bathtub standard semi frameless shower screen exhaust shower head mixer base is standard the mirror quite large in size is standard. Going to the laundry. Four tiles, <coughs> category two, Dolomite Ash, 450 by 450 ceramic. So there's a few upgrades in this laundry actually. The stainless steel tub and the mixer is standard. 
The stem bench is an upgrade. It's normally laminate, <coughs> and we've also upgraded to 40 millimeters. This is a category one stone, and it's called white shimmer. Not sure if you can see, but <coughs> you should see some parts shimmer. And that's a category one. So the cabinet <coughs> is standard, but these top cabinets and this appliance cupboard is an upgrade. Sliding door is standard, fly screen upgrade. <clears throat> and lastly, second bedroom. Carpet, category two, upgrade. Window, standard, awning window and fly screen upgrade. This room is about 10.5 squares and the built-in row is an upgrade, sliding with the mirrors. What I'll point out is um, about in this area, sometimes you can feel the nail. <coughs> Same with this area. Sometimes if you step, oh, right there, hit a nail. <coughs> 